I mean, there's one thing like that, you know, when somebody acquires a company, like the WWE, it's not a TKO. They're trying to get rid of the founder. Uh, each company, I noticed that, you know, uh, if they bought your company like that or something, or like, uh, you know, uh, the original founders have a vision for the company. If somebody buys their name, that the other company, they change it, changes, change again. Look at McDonald's, okay? It was, you know, Ray Kroc who took over. He bought it from, uh, he, you know, he, uh, he uh, acquired the name rights of that under, you know, the, 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 the McDonald's brothers, okay? And he operated that company like that in a way that the McDonald's brothers cannot say, oh my gosh, that's not our vision. Because if they acquire a company, look at Lucasfilm, okay? This, they changed everything with that. They try to get rid of, uh, of uh, you know, of, uh, of uh, we call us of uh, George Lucas because they don't want his vision. Same thing on a, in, when companies do that. When they, when they take over a, a brand, they try to change it to their vision of what they want to be. Look at WWE and it, it becomes TKO. Vince McMahon is a trailblazer. He's one of my role models of that. Okay, I don't care what you say about his personal life, that's his personal life. But he did one thing. He had a vision to make wrestling relevant. Okay, wrestling back then, nobody cares to that. It's only a cult following. Okay, or, you know, maybe you go to the south like that, people will like it, or the north. It's only like an entertainment, but it was not mainstream. Sports won't even mention it until he made it famous. Remember the middle of the 1990s? They had a story called Steve Austin in ESPN. You know why? Through diligence. Now, he's also, the, you know, uh, George, Vince McMahon is also a good friend of, of uh, Trump. Okay? Two men, okay? One thing though, they're men. If they try to, if somebody challenges them, he crushes them. Okay? Have you noticed one thing? They went to the WWE, build entire company. Okay? We try to change it, okay? Try to get rid of him because you know why? He has he has the vision of what the rest is supposed to be. I know something about wrestling right nowadays that it becomes bland. But you know, Vince McMahon goes in there, maybe change a bit with that to make to improve it. Problem is that he's getting old, okay? And when you get old, and the old king, they want to get rid of the old king to take over the kingdom. His kingdom is WWE. What happens then? Now, when they take, when they, if they do get rid of him, watch it, Dad. They'll say, you know, they'll get rid of uh, Triple H, and they'll make some. They'll, they'll have, probably have a, you know, uh, a Pride Night for the WWE. We never know. It happened in the NFL. It might happen there also. They might you know, put some ideas in there. The thing is, Vince McMahon knows what people want. Probably corporations don't. That's why here in Vegas, Dad. All the casinos here, people hate the casinos over here, here because you know why? The nickel dime everybody. In the old days of the mob, everything was comp, everything with food was cheap because they want the money for the gambling. The corporation comes in, they nickel dime everything, parking, you know, uh, drinks. Okay, now, <sighs> you know, TK takes over. There's sports entertainment. Now, what happened then? If you look at the brand, there's NXT, okay, SmackDown, okay? There is, uh, you know, uh, Raw, Raw is on Netflix now. From some odd reason, there's Netflix and that, you know? And Netflix, is a, it's a, a woke, uh, it's a woke, it's a, no, woke, no, a woke company. Now, also, they have, uh, you know, Peacock also. See what happens to that, you know? Because it, all these companies have control in American consumption. You know, American media. If you control it, they can fire anything they want in there. They can put anything that ideas that. So that's why they want to get rid of you know of uh, you know, him. Well, how do you get rid of him? Anything else? Sexual allegations. Okay. Like Trump, sexual allegation. Like Clinton, sexual allegations. Look at Clinton also. Okay. <coughs> we got impeached. How many people there were there for him? Zero. Even the Democrats like ah. Keep away from him. Because why? People hate good leaders. That's the thing, you know. You're intelligent, you're a good leader, they hate you like that. That's why Vince McMahon like that, you know, uh, he's going through this thing like that. Because you know why? 
they're trying to chase the, this idea of his company. That's why he never had his, his company to Shane like that, because Shane had a different idea. He had a different idea also, but he had the main idea. Vince McMahon knows everything that about, you know, uh, you know how to promote. And that's the thing, okay? You know, people say, oh, he's a mean guy and everything. He's not your friend. You know, you know he's there. If you, you were a wrestler to go in there, that you're there to make money. Of course, it's that you know we call this. You know, if money comes to that, he's gonna you know he's gonna find ways that to uh, to uh, not pay you like that. That's where business people are. Save a dime. You keep money for yourself, and we call this that you know, uh, and make sure you get less money. You know why? That's the way the game is. He's not your friend. It's a way like that. Look at the Rock. Okay, you think that you know? Uh, you think you know? Was he nice to the Rock when he was struggling? No. Yeah, the far you know, he, he was hard on him. It's like either you perform or not. And the Rock, Dwayne Johnson, moved that. He answered the challenge. That's why he respects him with that, you know. That's why people like the you know, Ryback and then other people tell, oh, he's bad. You know? But you know why? It takes you know, people to achieve way up high here. Okay? And people understand that, okay? We are, you know, uh, when you vibe way up here like that, you, you achieve a superstar and that people respect you. And that's the thing. Achievement is not easy. That's why I know why call us, you know, sadly to that I hopefully that you know well, he doesn't leave that. If he does it then you know what, Mr. McMahon, thank you very much. Thank you for the, the childhood memories. Because your your vision, you know, uh, established you know a good you know, a good cultural foundation for our for your country.